everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. Hope you got out this past weekend. Those of you who had time off to connect, get out and socialize, maybe meet somebody, maybe a date. Libra. Libra. You love prospects and connections. Who's interested in you or vice versa? Libra. Oops, there we go. There's one right there. Ooh, okay. Happy home, happy life, reason to celebrate. Four of Wands. Some kind of celebration here. Something really positive here. Ooh, Libra. This one wants to come out. This one first. Yeah, so there's some kind of change. Very nice. Some of you may have moved to a new home, changed relocation, could be a housewarming party. Yeah, you've got some kind of offer, some kind of change here. Things are feeling good, feeling on top of the world. I see that Ace of Pentacles. It's a communication, an offer. It's something solid. Ooh. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. This could be yourself, Queen of Cups. We shall see. Libra. Does Libra need to know? New love prospects, new love connections. Yeah, you got a choice, a decision here. Ooh, you got someone who wants to date you. You got someone here who may be looking to see if you have other options. Some of you are kind of keeping your options open, though. I can see that energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a little bit of fantasizing. There's a decision, a choice to make. You got someone who wants to date you and court you. Okay, you might have a choice between a couple people, but there's change coming out. Yeah? You know what you want, you're not settling. <laughs> I feel like you've got some options, okay? Yeah, but you're open to love. I see you being very open to love. Oh yeah, you got someone in their head thinking about you. Somebody wants to court you and date you. They're thinking about you. They are seeing you as someone who knows exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. You may have other options as well. Yeah, you got a person who wants to make you an offer here. Wow, you have an opportunity. You might have a choice. You may have a couple of people. You got someone here still with one foot in the door and out. It's courting, dating. They're going to take that, you know, it's somebody who's offering you. You got a choice. I feel like you know what you want here, though. Yeah, and someone here is thinking about you. They're seeing you in this way. Very clear, okay? This is someone's intentions, as I feel, is to make a decision. Someone is seeing the possibilities of having um, this opportunity for this fresh new start. It's like an open door is what it's telling me in my head. I don't know where that came from, but it's an open door, that opportunity. Feeling on top of the world. There's some kind of change. Let's see what's going on. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Some of you are walking away. Oh, you got somebody who else is ready for change. You got someone around you. Someone You could have somebody who's coming back around. Watch that energy a little bit. But generally, the world with this is feeling on top of the world. You can feel this change coming. Uh, so where is my soulmate? I think we got a person here who's looking for a soulmate. Yeah, you got someone up in their head. There they are. You got someone who's thinking about you. Oh, yeah, you have an emperor energy, someone who knows exactly what they want. This is someone strategizing, very logical. Oh, yeah, this is a person who's kind of holding back, a little bit stubborn. So some of you could be walking away from someone. You may have a person who's think, seeing that energy, that you are going to walk away. They're stubborn. This is someone who's kind of stubborn and stuck and selfish, but you're not giving in. You know what you want. You're not settling. I can see your energy, Libra. Oh, yeah. You got someone here with some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Emperor energy. Someone very logical, strategizing, holding back. So you got someone who refuses to budge. So that's where I feel like you have other options. I almost, I get this energy of like just throwing your hands up in the air. It's like uh, enough is enough kind of energy. Yeah. So you've got someone here. Oh yeah, you're you're taking off in another direction. I feel like this is yourself. You're just taken off in another direction you have other options you're not letting someone keep you stuck keep you single because you do have an offer okay yeah you're moving very quick i see communication back and forth things speeding up making a choice oh yeah you have opportunities boy oh boy look at that energy yeah you got someone here is manifesting you got someone with some gemini energy someone here has all the tools they're manifesting 
Okay, this opportunity. So whether you take it or not, it's up to you. Because I feel like you have options. It's up to you. You're going to make a decision. Yeah, someone who's got all the tools, the house, the home, the financial foundation. Some energy of someone who's looking for a partner. Ah, yes, there we go. Yeah, You got someone here you don't see a future with, possibly someone you do. But I look at that energy. Look at your energy here. Very grounded, very sensible. You got someone here you may feel like doesn't have your best interest. This person here. They're stubborn. They refuse to budge. Selfish. This is someone who kind of, you know, very protective of their money. This is someone who will keep you stuck and keep you single. This is the thing. This is someone who keeps coming back around with that same energy. So I feel as though you're taking off in another direction. You're, I feel as though it's there's change coming. It's like you've gone through the change. You're now looking into the future, making plans. You're preparing yourself. You know what you want. You're focused on money, career, things like that. Yeah, you have a decision, a choice in love here. You got choices coming in here. You're manifesting this too. Oh yeah, see, so your cycle's ending, a new cycle beginning. You're finished with someone. There you are in your empress energy. Uh, you know what you want. <laughs> You're definitely no pushover, I'll tell you that right now. Oh my goodness, and you got someone who sees you. You've got a couple people with air in their chart around you. You got someone who's thinking about you. Oh yeah. So someone who sees you, they know. They have to come in just right. They see you as just right. Very sexy, very charming, um, very grounded and sensible. You are the one who's going to be making the choice. You're going to choose to end something. You're going off on a new path. you got someone who's not compatible. They're just not willing to cooperate or compromise. They're selfish. So this is where you see it. You cannot see yourself with this person, but you can see yourself with someone else here. Uh huh. Someone who's just right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they see you that way too. So someone who knows they need to come in just right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Okay. Aries, Leo, Saj. I see a couple of people very creative, hardworking, very theatrical. Uh, you have some things in common here, and that's an energy where you have something in common with this person. Uh, very sexy, attractive, um, very creative, very hardworking. Two people know exactly what they want. Two people who are just right. <laughs> You're both in that same energy. Oh, they do look like they got some fire. Definitely. You've manifested this, I feel. You have the tools. You have everything you need. You're in that Empress energy. You've mastered the elements. You know exactly what you're doing here, I feel. Yeah, you know. Someone here you don't really see a future with. I can see it. Like, you're being honest with yourself, I feel. Grounding yourself. You want this bond and connection. You want someone who builds you up. If you have someone who doesn't build you up, they don't cooperate and compromise, you end it right there. Stop. You push the stop button. You get off that emotional roller coaster. See, that's where you're getting off the emotional roller coaster. You're becoming decisive. It's time to take off and take your passion and energy elsewhere. I actually feel like you got a person chasing you here. Yeah, this is your person. This is the one who wants to date you and court you. Very nice. They want to offer this cup. So I see dating and courting, this person trying to do things right. They're definitely doing a lot of thinking, okay? Definitely doing some thinking. They're very logical as well. Yeah, you, you know, you attract people with air in their chart. They really could be anyone. Uh, like I say, I see a Taurus, an Aries, or a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is the strongest energies. Some of you have a Gemini here, but I do, you know, they could be, it could be them or you could be ending it with them because I can see that energy here, but it does look like someone with some Libra in their chart as well, but that could be how they're seeing you. Tell me about justice. Why is this here? What's this justice about? Yeah, weighing the pros and the cons, making a decision. Yeah, some of you got a choice to make here between a couple of people, but you're in that empress energy. So I feel as though you're just grounding yourself. Like you, you know, you're focused on other things. You want someone who focuses on you. If they don't focus on you, then you're, you know, you just it's an energy of just next. See you later. I'm off this emotional roller coaster. Uh, it's an energy of compatibility, creativity. It's an energy of cooperation. The things you have in common. You have someone here you have nothing in common with. Okay, they may have something similar to you, but if, I, I really feel like you have nothing in common. They're selfish, they're stubborn, they're stuck. 
you see it's an energy where you got this person all they have to do is make you a solid offer they have to show they're reliable that they're they have your best interest i feel like you see they do not have your best interest but then you've got this other person look at that see once that offer is planted if you know that's you take this off this is the energy right there you take that seed off that pedicle off the top you have cooperation and compromise but this person's unwilling so you, i feel as though you're going to take another offer here and i do see you weighing the pros and the cons but i see you being practical and sensible you're grounding yourself it's a bit of a struggle and a decision you will make the right choice i actually feel this person's in that energy as well uh, making a choice to date to court if you have someone here in the energy with someone who has one foot in the door and out too see that's an energy now this person wants to stay on course very nice yeah you got to make a decision you're going to let go of someone here i see an aquarius energy you're going to release someone uh, for someone new it doesn't mean you're releasing the aquarius it could be this person you could be starting with um a gem somebody with gemini now they don't have to be sun signs they could have those energies in their moon rising or venus but you're releasing something here. You want someone who sees your worth and your value, and someone does. They're thinking about you. They're up in their head. Um, <laughs> someone sees you as everything they could want here. I yeah, they're you're teaching someone how you want to be treated here as well. Someone's taming the beast within themselves too, you see. This is someone who wants to stay on course. They're controlling their emotions, not trying to control anything. Very nice dating and courting it's an opportunity it's hard to say where this is going to go uh, but this person's quite confident about staying on course that this could actually go somewhere beautiful yeah a little taurus virgo capricorn energy so someone making plans for the future they're also grounding themselves see this is someone very logical so like i say they could come towards you as a taurus virgo capricorn and i do see an energy as you may have some of that energy in your chart okay you may have uh, taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart you don't have to but it's just that energy of looking into the future who do you see yourself with it's being you know uh, very sensible to do with whether something goes in your favor if you got a person where they're not cooperating and compromising then there it won't go in your favor this is the energy of long term going down that path towards commitment i don't see you settling one little bit here no nope, you want that emotional fulfillment this one wants to come out so there's that where you go through the change yeah so i do see the change i see you changing here uh, change a direction change a course uh, it's an energy of just letting something evolve too and i don't think you're trying to control anything either but it's this person here now i don't know if this is a you've got a couple people who keep coming back around because it's possible you know who these people are and they could be coming back around but i'll tell you what the change is is stable practical reliable financially stable as well no longer controlling things taming the beasts that need to control it very well could be one of these people because uh, I'm not really seeing new, per se, but I see the opportunity. Okay, someone is about to make a decision. I feel you have options. You are the one who's going to make the choice. It's an emotional decision. Oh, yeah, this has to do with a relationship commitment, a reason to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Some of you have invitations, parties. You're going to get some kind of invitation here as well. You got a cycle ending and a whole new cycle beginning. I feel like it's just time for change. You got a, someone who sees you as their hopes and dreams. Yeah, this is an energy of single. You got someone here who's single, possibly newly single. Yeah, it could be yourself too, just thinking of staying single for some of you. Uh, but I actually feel you'll change your mind because you have this lovely person here. Uh, I think they're grounded, stable. Yeah, so you got someone here who's right for you, someone who's not. So I do feel like it's an energy of weighing the pros and the cons, kind of comparing two people. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle. It's not an easy decision, but you're going to make it. You're the one who's going to decide. Okay, you've got a soulmate connection. Where is my soulmate? You've got someone who's looking for the same thing you are here. 
a soulmate, a connection. You know, it's a bond between two. Yeah, it's two people giving each other equal amounts of attention. Some of you are freeing yourself from a person. You're releasing them. You see, it's that sense of freedom, you know, and it's an energy. And now going off on this adventure. I see somebody with a little Sag or Leo. It'll be different for each of you. A little Sag or Leo energy in their chart. So there's some fire. There's some air. That's an energy of that fire and air right there. That's what I feel is happening. So it's trying to tell me something here. Yeah, fire and air, but also that grounded energy. You see that? Two people who build each other up. I see this a lot of times. And it doesn't have to be as fire and air. Someone compatible. Somebody who's willing to cooperate and compromise. Very creative too. Like it's so, you got some things in common with someone. They're very creative, very passionate, okay? But very financially stable. Very much focused on that financial stability. Uh, that's your options. You want That's what you're wanting is someone financially stable. You have someone here who may not be, okay? Because you're manifesting this. You have the tools. You have all the tools. You're the empress. You're no pushover. <laughs> the birth of something new, a creative person, someone who's like-minded, like yourself. There's your happiness. Yeah, see, this is a person in your neighborhood, in your social, uh, on your social media. Someone could be in your neighborhood as well. But there's this change of just going with the flow, letting something evolve between two people, not controlling it. This person's not controlling. Uh, they're mature. That's what I feel. So uh, I see dating and courting. I see this possibly taking off. I see it, two people building a strong bond and a connection over a period of time here. Socializing, taking things to the next level, introducing to friends and family. Yeah, something, ooh, there could be children involved if you're any of you are single parents. It's an energy of just kind of keeping things simple, letting it evolve. Two people doing nice things for each other, helping each other out, saying very nice things. It's gift giving. It's something sentimental. I actually feel like you're going to get invited to a celebration or a party. There could be children involved in this. It could be a child's birthday party. Anything like that, but it's very, very positive. You got a person who's doing some thinking about this energy. This is someone who's ready for change as well. You know, they're thinking about marriage and commitment. They see your worth and value. They see you value yourself. You take care of yourself. You look like a million bucks. You always look like you're going somewhere, okay? Uh -huh. It could be someone who's checking to see if you are single. I do see a few of you thinking you just want to stay single, okay? Not so sure. If you have someone who has children and you, you're, you, don't, you no longer want children or don't want children, you're not going to pick this person who has children. I really can't see it, but it, it is possible. It's just sort of seeing what happens, what develops between two people. If you have a situation with someone where it's not going to go where you want, you're just going to stay single. But I see a single parent. I see single parents for some of you here. Mm -hmm. A celebration with family, friends, children. I see some kind of success. Uh, someone definitely getting a lot of attention. If some of you have a person who is more invested in their children, you're not, okay? They may be giving their children attention. They may not make be making you a priority. Uh, so got, there's definitely got to be some balance there. Children are definitely a priority. But yeah, I can see it, something here to do with that too. But I feel as though you kind of know what you want here. And you just want to be happy. You want that uh, future with someone. So I think you're just going to let things kind of evolve and see where they go. You could change your mind. You could change your mind about something. I feel like you're back and forth changing your mind a lot. <laughs> if you have someone who has children, it could be about children. Maybe you want children or someone else doesn't. Maybe they're the one changing their mind. It could go either way because it's right there in the center between all that energy. Yeah, it's about uh, two people working to build something. you got someone who wants to build something with you. They could be somebody at work. Uh, so somebody who's a bit of a perfectionist too. This is 
a lot of times you get that king of pentacles energy someone who works a lot very much a perfectionist they want to build you see there's something building between you and this person you have this very passionate beautiful energy this is somebody who wants to build on that okay that's where i feel Yeah, I feel like you're, yeah, look at that. See, that passion, the two people focused on that wand. This could be the one, okay? But if there is children and you don't want children, that's where I feel like you're back and forth and you're not sure. You have to make up your mind, okay? But if you do want children, it's them. So, yeah, so slow and steady wins the race, planning for success. Just take it slow, let it evolve, see how you feel. Okay, so I see the dating, the courting. See this person not trying to control anything. They're taming their need, that need to control. <laughs> they certainly won't let anyone control them either, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, fiery, passionate, creative, business owner possibly. Both of you could be entrepreneurs, business owners. This is two people come together to build, okay? Uh, the couple that works together, stays together, plays together. I can see that energy here too. So, yeah, but if there is children involved, that's where I feel there's a decision. So, yeah, you've got, it's about the status quo. It's about whether you're on the same page, you want the same thing, similar lifestyle. It's about two people who get each other. It's about commitment, staying on course, committing. You got a person who wants to. Someone here is ready, okay? They're financially ready for this. This is a person who sometimes takes a long time, spends their whole life building up their bank account, having the house, the home, uh, the vehicle. They have everything, um, and they're now ready, okay, to commit. So, But whether or not you want to or not, that's another thing here. Yeah, because I do see this cycle. This is a whole new cycle for you, whole new path. But they are compatible. They actually really are. So you may have to make a decision. Like I say, if they have children and you don't, and you don't want any, that's the back and forth. That's what I feel for a lot of you. So yeah, so there's an energy of making a decision to end something. Some of you are definitely thinking of ending a situation. Yeah. You gotta make a choice. Who is this emperor? You guys were like doing so well this last while. This must be a whole different group of, of uh, Libras. <laughs> you are that Empress energy and you know it, right? Yeah. Tell me about this Emperor. Yeah, it's emotionally detached, more focused on their money. You already know everything you need to know about this person. They're stubborn, yeah. That's what you're moving away. I just wanted to double check. There is something similar to this person's energy, just a little. I just think this person's ready. They're more grounded. They're, they've tamed that beast that need to control. Where this person here, not so much. So, yeah. It's also someone who keeps secrets. They have other options. So, yeah. You're not giving in and you're not budging. So, I feel as though you've, this person's going to come in. I think you're going to make a decision to end something with someone here. You're going to move towards this other person. If it's not you ending something, it's this other person, okay? It's a death, okay? <laughs> something is finished. It could be the death of the ego. Uh, it could be somebody getting out of their head, making a decision. Yeah, I, I, I really feel as though you got this person who wants to have success. Uh, they really do. I really feel like they do. They just want to take things slow at first, though. I can see their energy, especially if there's children involved person may have just ended a situation with someone too so let's see where this is headed yeah healing the heart so you got someone who's ended a situation they're healing their heart i feel they are i do think they're ready for another relationship uh, this is that offer that opportunity they don't want to miss this opportunity too so yeah a little healing energy there with every ending comes that transitional energy. So there's that burst of magic. This is that manifesting energy. This is a higher vibrational energy after a healing. Birds of a feather flock together. you got some compatibility with this person. They're in your social circle. This is friends and family getting together. 
Okay, this is where you fit. Do you fit in this person's life in your world? In your, do they fit with your friends and family, your social circle, if that's important to you? Some of you, I don't know if it is all that important. Uh, I feel like it is with this person, though. I see them being quite family-oriented. They do work a lot, though, I can tell you. Yeah, so it's about something being exposed and revealed here. So this is an energy where I feel that it there's still things that need to be known, still need to be revealed. So there's this transition, the divine matrix. This is that masculine, feminine energy. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to say where this is going to go. But I do see this energy of this close encounter growing closer uh, with this person. Just letting it evolve. It's telling you not to control it, okay? Not to try to control anything. Just, and I, I think it's this person too. Like It's not just you. I, I feel like you have a, mu a mutual energy, a little bit of a mirroring energy. You kind of want the same thing, but it's just some things, you know, there are, oh, there's always differences. So I see the transformation after an ending. It's a healing. This is someone who's gone through a healing. They're ready now. They're freeing themselves. And they're, they're not sure where this is going to go, but they're just going to see what happens. Yeah, see, it's about seeing the bigger picture. That's that third eye activation kind of energy where this person is seeing the bigger picture. That he's just letting it uh, flow. But I actually feel like they see you in their future. Okay, I do. I feel like they do. And I feel like they're uh, just very sensible. They're looking for a partner. We got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, they want a partner, someone they can count on and rely on. It's a power couple here. You are the one with a lot of the power here, though. Okay, it's like an energy where I feel like you've taken your power back from somebody. And you're uh, definitely um, much more uh, grounded, but you're also no pushover. You know what you want. Like, this is where you know what you want. You know, there's no more guessing for you. You know what you want. This person knows you know what you want, too. It's the bigger picture, seeing beyond. Okay, this person's in that energy. You already are up here. You've already got to that point where you're seeing the bigger picture with someone. Okay, you can't rely on them. So it's about going down this path. Beautiful, yeah. See, it's the call of the muse, something temporary that didn't work out. It's a person who has other options. They see you as an option. You're nobody's option. And that's where I, I feel like you're really starting to get it here. Libra, like I really, really do. And I feel as though with this energy, if you can stay on course here, uh, you know, know exactly what you want. Don't be a pushover, you know, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Uh, but with the Empress energy, it's always an energy being very gracious, very kind. Okay, it's also about trusting yourself. If something doesn't feel right or you're not comfortable, okay, don't be afraid to, you know, be blunt and to the point. But with the Empress, it's always a beautiful, balanced energy. I love this energy of this ending because I feel like with every ending comes this new beginning. So uh, if you are struggling, uh, the struggle, this challenge, this decision-making process is coming to an end. So I think it's this person here because I feel like you've already kind of got to that energy. Uh, I feel as though um, this person is definitely someone who's, you know, they're, they're mature, they've tamed the beast, they're not just focused on the physical, they actually want a partner, and that's what I feel, they see the bigger picture of relationships and what it takes to build, that's why I feel like you've got this beautiful, mature person here, so take care on this path, it all depends where you are, it's all food for thought, and we'll see you soon.